Good morning class, we are in Title 13 and Title 13 deals with special corporations. It's divided into three chapters class. No? The first chapter deals with educational institution, the second chapter deals with religious institution, and the third chapter deals with one person corporation. Now, add to our discussion on the uh, add to our discussion on the first chapter. Very short and first chapter class, two provisions only. And this speaks of the this speaks of the organization of a an educational institution and who is the governing board. Educational institutions are covered by special laws. No? They are covered by special laws and they are also subject to regulation. Educational institutions, if it is elementary and high school, it's covered, they are monitored by the Department of Education. Pag college naman siya class and higher, it's monitored by the Commission on Higher Education. In the case of law school, they, they are monitored by the Legal Education Board. Uh, depende sa klase ng school, depende sa klase ng, ng, ng franchise na binigay sa kanila ng SEC. So, nare-regulate sila. They are uh, managed by Board of Trustees. Na? The number of the Board of Trustees, not less than 5, not more than 15. So, yan ang, discuss, yan ang special corporation ng educational institution. Now, Educational institution is also uh, is 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 enjoy special privilege under the tax code also, because if the regular rate is let's say thirty percent, educational institutions, proprietary educational institutions enjoy ten uh, percent. If it is a religious charitable non stop corporation, exempt. Na? so they enjoy special privilege under the tax code. You will discuss that in your taxation subject. Na? Now, let us go to the second chapter, and second chapter deals with religious corporation. Religious corporation may be incorporated by one or more persons. Such incorporation may be classified into corporation soul and religious societies. Religious corporation shall be governed by this chapter and the general provisions of non-stop corporation insofar as applicable. Okay, so a religious corporation class may be organized as corporation aggregate or it could also be organized as corporation soul. Corpor the Roman Catholic Church is a corporation soul class. Na? Uh, that day before the enactment of the, the one-person corporation, siya ang mag-isang corporation soul because ang reason nila is that the existence of the Catholic Church was before, even before the execution of the uh, even before the approval of the corporation code. So, pareho din, meron din silang articles of incorporation. They could also acquire and alienate properties. Na? Yan. Okay? So, they could also dissolve. No organizations, religious institutions could also dissolve. Basahin nyo lang not much on this. Na? Chapter 3. Let us go to Chapter 3, and that is One Person Corporation. That is covered by Section 115, Applicability of the Provision to One Person Corporation. The provision of this title shall primarily apply to One Person Corporation. Okay, What is a One Person Corporation? A One Person Corporation is a corporation with single stockholder, provided that only natural persons, trust, or an estate may form One Person Corporation. So, natural per, natural person, chaklasa. However, the following are not allowed no, to uh, operate as one person corporation. Uh, banks and quasi-banking, printed, trust, insurance, public and publicly listed companies, hindi sila pwede na one person corporation. Non-chartered government owned and controlled corporation, hindi din sila. So, technically, there are six, no? six uh, entities which are not allowed to uh, organized as one person corporation. Banks and quasi banks, pre need, trust, insurance, public and publicly listed companies, and non chartered government owned and controlled corporation. Pareho din, meron ding articles of incorporation, meron ding bylaws ang one person corporation. Ang, ang corporate name niya class. Sa dulo ng corporate name niya, you should indicate the words, the letters OPC, indicating that that is a one-person corporation. Now, officers of the corporation, you have the president, the treasurer, and the secretary. Now, president, treasurer, and the secretary. 
Siyempre, one person per position, it's only the president. Usually, the president or the director is the only stockholder. And the treasurer and the corporate secretary are uh, not, not, are not stockholders. Now, another new concept in one person corporation, 124, and that is the naming of a nominee or an alternate nominee. Okay. Who is a nominee and an alternate nominee and that is covered by section 124? The single stockholder shall designate a nominee and an alternate nominee who shall in event the single corporation's death or incapacity, incapacitated yung one person, no? take the place of the single stockholder as director and shall manage the corporation's affairs. So, ikaw ang may-ari, no? ikaw ang may-ari ng corporation, you're registered as a one-person corporation because you're qualified under the law, but you have to name two alternates. No? First, the first nominee and an alternate nominee so that if something happens to you, then this alternate nomi this nominee and this alternate nominee will manage the corporate's affair. Okay? The articles of incorporation shall state the names, residence, address, and contact details of a nominee and alternate nominee as well as the extent and limitation of their authority in managing the affairs of a one-person corporation. So very important that you uh, put the name, no? you put the, you designate the name of a nominee and an alternate nominee. Now, pwede mo bang palitan that is covered by Section 126, Change of Nominee and Alternate Nominee? The single stockholder may at any time change its nominee and alternate nominee by submitting to the commission the names of the new nominees and their corresponding written consent. So kailangan uh, i-inform ng one person cor one person ng one person director, one person stockholder ng corporation na yan ang SEC for the change of nominee and there should be a consent on the part of the nominee that she, he is being um, dislodged na napinalitan siya. Pareho din class, meron din minutes books, no? Minutes books ang uh, one person corporation, pareho din ang reportorial requirements, na Almost the same, it's just that isa lang siya, na One person corporation. Okay? Ah, uh, importante din dito sa one person corporation, hindi pwedeng mag-incorporate as one person corporation yung nagapractice ng profession because as what we have mentioned before in our previous videos na uh, because they have professional liability not to the public. Okay, I think that would be all for Title 13. Next, I Title 14, and I think, ah, meron pa tayo pa. Title 14, then after that, we will go to the solution. We will skip foreign corporation class that is not covered in our syllabus. Okay, have a very good morning.